think we're on. All right. Welcome, Facebook. That's a very special episode of the 359, our yeah. 75th. We decided to shake things up. We're going to do it in the studio with me, Ben Fox Rubin, Woo. Joan Salzman. We're going to be talking about what everyone's talking about today, Pokemon. 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 But we will... <laughs> We will also be talking about uh, Amazon Prime, so stay tuned if you want. Yes. Some details. This is going to be a deals. real hard news episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Pokemon Go. Discounts at and... Pokemon Go. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so. um, yeah, so have you guys been playing it? Well, then. I, I, played, I played for like three minutes uh, over the weekend and didn't find it all that interesting because it was nighttime and I wasn't about to like mm. leave my house. To go look for Pokemon at like 9 p.m. Why in the not? suburbs. That's the best time to hunt for Pokemon. Would have been pretty weird and creepy, but I'm sure other people <laughs> yeah, around you know the country I'm have been doing it. I'm willing to bet you probably would have run into people. Yes, other like people in the bushes, being like <laughs> their faces illuminated by their screen in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my Bulbasaur! <laughs> so yeah, I so I tried it, and then it wasn't that interesting in my house, so I deleted right. it. But then I knew we were going to talk about it here. So I re-downloaded it, and then have since caught another Pokemon there you go. in the office. So, oh, in the office? Yes. Really? Where in the office? Um, I don't know, like around the back by like the Snickers. I gotta, I, I gotta find this Pokemon. Maybe. Yeah. So now I have four and Roger has three. So yeah. good bully for Ben. And I had a missed opportunity because I was biking around the city all weekend I long. I was covering a lot of ground and I could have really like hit the jackpot. I mean, what it comes down to, it's a giant scavenger hunt. And like, the more ground you cover, the better off you are. Both of us, I mean, I was driving for the most part. I was in a mall. Actually, I probably would have caught some Pokemon at the mall. But. Yeah, absolutely. You got to catch them all. So, <laughs> might as well try to look for them at the mall. Clearly. Um, but yeah, it's been kind of a crazy phenomenon, right? Like, it's it, strange. I mean, we should probably save some of this for the podcast. But it's all right. You want to talk about another crazy phenomenon? Let's talk about the 359. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the worst segue ever. Wow. That was. That, that was probably terrible. just got us canceled. Yes. So I'm really sorry about uh, that. I just got the email. The official <laughs> notice. We're uh, we're done. We're Let's wrap it up. <laughs> All right. Why don't we get started with the podcast? Um, <laughs> Facebook. If you have any questions about Pokemon or Prime Day. Uh, Ben is our we Prime have Day our expert. Resident Prime Day expert uh, here. Please, I'm ashamed uh, to admit. Drop drop questions, <laughs> products, whatever. We'll uh, we'll try to answer your questions at the end of the podcast. So, all right. Shall we get started? Uh, Brian, do you want to count us down or? And audio's rolling. You are live in three, two. Welcome to a special episode of 359. It's our 75th edition, and we're doing things a little differently. We're in the main studio to shoot this for both Facebook Live and our site. I'm Roger Chang. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. And I'm Joni Salzman. So, the subject is unavoidable. Let's talk about Pokemon Go. It went live last week and people are going crazy for it. This is amazing. It's uh, not even that good of a video game. You know, Let's get that it's out It's a there. great concept. I just, yeah, I just made the point it, to someone else. It, this is the best worst game I've ever had. Like, the server, server issues abound. The game crashes it's constantly. It's buggy on it's top of the fact buggy, that it's But people cannot basic. get enough of this game. And it's... It's... What, Why? Why? How did uh, another thing that's pretty interesting? So Nintendo, which is the company that you know kind of created the concept in the first place, yep. their stock has jumped twenty five percent over Pokemon Go, or maybe the the fact that everybody now expects them to come out with a lot more mobile games because yeah. this one was such a huge success. No, I think that's an interesting point because Nintendo has been so resistant to being in the smartphone world for a long time. For whatever reason, yeah, and. This game comes out and it's buzzier than anything they've done in the console world. Yeah, for there the was last some data years. that showed that in the U.S., five percent of the population that has an Android phone has downloaded it, and of that five percent, three percent are using it every day, which means that people are using it as much as Twitter. That's that's insane. That's I don't know pretty. if that says more about Twitter than it does. It Pokemon says something Go. about Twitter, but it we'll says a lot about a game that's only existed for a yes. few days. Yes, I mean that's the thing. Like, what's the longevity of a game like this? Yeah, like, yeah. People get tired of it. I don't know. I've I've caught three. I'm still, I'm still eager to catch more. <laughs> still very early. Still very early for me. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll keep trying it out. People seem so excited about it that I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep giving it a go. And I think people are especially excited to see if they're gonna have like a Super Mario mobile game yeah. or a Legend of Zelda game. And Please, like yes, how Legend this, of Zelda game. How this opens up like a lot more potential for Nintendo, and now Nintendo is suddenly much, much more relevant as they turn everybody's smartphone into a Game Boy. Is this yeah. the first uh, intersection of an augmented reality game with a 
popular IP like I think so, yeah. Because like I mean, this this was based off of an earlier game called Ingress. Uh, in fact, that's where all the data, the location data, comes from. Uh, you know, not a lot of people have heard of that game, but they basically poured that data into Pokemon, and all of a sudden, it's they've got a winner on them. It's so, a phenomenon. Yeah, it's a phenom. So Ben, yeah, Prime Day. So next up is Prime Day, Amazon's favorite made-up holiday. It's coming on Tuesday, with the company pitching it as an even bigger sales event than the first Prime Day ever, which was last year. I talked with the head of Prime who said Amazon made some tweaks to the sales event, including making a better landing page so it's easier to find the sales, and also really amping up the amount of inventory because a lot of folks complained last year that all the best yeah. deals like were gone in like seconds. So uh, hopefully they're going to have a bigger hit on their hands. My expectation is people are still going to complain on social media regardless. Yeah. But, you know, if, if Amazon sells a ton of stuff, they'll be So really my happy. question to both of you, uh, what is your ideal Prime Day product or uh, discounted, you know, thing? I don't know. Do you want to go first, Joan? I was, I was like racking my mind before. I, don't, I couldn't think of much. If I could get a really great discount without having to worry about shipping for a bicycle for my husband that I know is from like a brand that he would appreciate, then that would be amazing. That would be my ideal one. Pretty worthwhile. I, I want like a really, really nice fridge for like five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> or like fifty dollars. Like something that is just like obnoxious. Ship to you in two days. Right. Course, right. Ship to me, no, like overnight, you know. So so you that would be nice. now it actually. Let's hope let's hope. Oh they gosh, have the poor there. delivery messenger. <laughs> the bike messenger that has <laughs> to be like, like on hauling his it up rack. the stairs too. So yeah. Probably not gonna happen, but you guys have way more exciting I mean I just wanted diapers. If I can get like Really cheap diapers. Cheap diapers. I'm, yes. I'd, I'd load up right now. For your kid, for, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Just to be clear, not for me. I don't need depends for my baby. But I'm sure there will be, or there may be, a depends uh, uh, deal. Well, considering have the all kinds of deals. The other criticism of Prime Day last year was not that, not just the inventory problems, but also like you know, Rubbermaid was a big, yeah. gigantic deal. People were like, who the hell cares? Yeah, and they sold out of that. Yeah. So they People really didn't care about the Rubbermaid. Products. They super duper leaned into that. I think that so I've been talking to Amazon a lot about this, and they were like, look, it's not a gifting holiday. This is. The type of thing where we're just trying to provide a bunch of different sales across categories to try to get people to buy all sorts of stuff. And they're like, some people are gonna think it's really wacky if we're gonna have like a giant tub of lube or something. But <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again and we're gonna own it this time. And so maybe it'll play off better this year. Who knows? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see. Wanna know more about these stories? Check us out on CNET. I'm Roger Chang. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. I'm Joni Salzman. Thanks for listening. For the podcast, we're still on Facebook Live. Yeah. You can't think of something better than diapers? I don't know. You can't, there's not something you'd really like to buy cheap. It's got diapers on the mind. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> we go like, through, like, like we go literally through just had twice a as many as you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. What? Yeah, that's the thing, like, so far, like, with having a kid, like, I don't really need anything. Yeah. You don't have time to do yeah. anything. That you would buy. Right. Use anything that you would buy. I, I could go for like an even more comfortable couch because that's what I pass out on all the time when I'm taking care of way too many kids. So that would be good. But that's not the sort of thing you'd buy on Amazon, right? I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, they probably sell couches, I'm yeah. sure. But so, Brian, are there any questions from Facebook about uh, Pokemon or Prime Day? I mean, people are upset that Pokemon's not available worldwide yet. I mean, yep. it, it's restricted. Um, like, so it's only, is it only in English language? No, it's not even that. It's just uh, U.S., Australia, and New Zealand? Is that right? I think so. And I believe I it actually so. went live in Japan, right. like an unofficial right. version. Right. Um, and it's, <clears throat> look, it's, I think they're going to have issues with expanding because they're already having problems here in the, U like in the, in the markets that it's already out. It's not, you know, it's not the best experience. It like chokes out, the app crashes, you're uh, I was. And people wanted it anyway. I know. I was like staring at my phone and just sort of like tapping at it, and nothing was happening. I was like, "Come on, I'm right at this whatever the Poke Spot." Poke the spot. Poke Spot. Is it, what is it? It's called the Poke Stop. Stop. Sorry. <laughs> I was like frantically like swiping away. I'm like, "All right, give me my stupid Pokeball." Nothing. Nothing. Because so, the server was down. It will probably get to a lot more places pretty quickly. Even with those problems, just for the simple fact that like they have a hit on their hands, they want more people to get it really, really fast. So and you've been hearing all these like weird kind of side stories about like the people, the experiences, like people are yes. getting sent over to like 
strip clubs and sex shops. Oh, I thought you were going to mention the one girl who found the were, dead body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, there was another one where there were like armed robberies. Like yes. people hang out around poke stops, I right. guess, like in the middle of like parking lots, and then we'll rob you because they know that you're coming there. And you're like holding your phone, and you're distracted, and <laughs> it it's like the, really the worst possible person to to, to rob, basically. Look, this is, yeah, this is the first, like, super popular augmented reality, like, in the world game. So there's, there's going to be, like, a lot of those, like, I don't know, learnings. We'll, we'll probably come out with, like, a story about, like, the uh, etiquette of Pokemon Go, like, at a wedding or something like that at some point. So people <laughs> well, still yeah, need to learn this and stuff. And someone just, like, someone found a Pokemon during his wife's labor. Like, yeah, I saw that, too. Oh, man. So well, I mean, some labor does out. like like last for like twenty hours. True. So there's true. a lot of like boring time for the non in labor person. That's true. I was. <laughs> what was I doing? That is, that is very <laughs> generous of you. I was thinking like world's worst or world. I guess best I, in, my, in my mind it was like she was pushing it. He was like, oh look, Pikachu. <laughs> Swipe, go swipe. You're like, dude, that's your that's your kid. That's not a Pokemon. <laughs> you know, put the phone down. So. Um, all right, Brian. Any other questions? Uh, Mo wants to know what team to join when he reaches level five in Pokemon Go. Oh. Well, neither of us. Okay, so, so in case in case I'm, nobody, I'm a level two. I'm also level two. We both just started, so we don't know anything about what teams to join. When I think you it's hit like level Team five. Red or Team Blue. I think those are the team colors. Mo, ignore yeah. these amateurs. Join Team Valor. Team Valor. Team Valor, all right. I'll join whatever team Brian is on. Yeah. Actually, that's that's going to be my goal. So Brian, our producer, has 50. 50, 50 Pokemon. 50 Pokemon right now. So if you have any questions... A lot of repeaters, Brian's not producer. 50 originals. I'm sorry? So you can catch the same one over and over again, and I'm doing that for experience points. So I have 50 there, but I only have 20 originals. Oh, okay. Wow, you have us wow. beat. Yeah. Brian, you should just be answering these questions yourself. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Yeah. You're all fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? No, I think we're pretty covered for today. Everyone's too distracted playing Pokemon Go. Yeah, they're I would probably say out. So. They're outside. Well, you know, that's the one good thing about this game. It gets people outside. Yes. As long as they're not driving or biking or. Right. Uh, for my money, I'm, I'm still playing <laughs> trying to catch Slither Pokemon. IO. Nobody's talking about Slither IO anymore, but yeah. I wasted a lot of time over the weekend with that. So that's like a, like a snake game where you fight against other snakes. And you try to eat them. Sometimes so. I can't tell when Ben's making something up and lying to us. Because he does the same. It's actually <laughs> legit. This one's legit. I don't like it seems so dorky enough to be real, actually. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> All right, have fun with your snakes, dude. All right. God, no one's going to talk about that. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> All right. If you liked anything you saw or heard here, check us out on CNET.com. Uh, also, we're available on iTunes, Google Play Music, um, Feed Burger, SoundCloud, TuneIn. You did it. And that's did it. it. We're good. And CNET. If you didn't say that yet. I said our site. Okay. That was the enough. first thing I always say. We'll, you know what? We'll, we'll iron out all the details after. For the next. Yeah, for the next one. And for the next 75 episodes. And stay, right. stay tuned for our 100th episode, which we promise will be even bigger and crazier. Yeah. It's only in a few weeks, so. Cool. All right.